Diddy in the bad news. Ryan Garcia reacts to P. Diddy in the bad news. What up, Fight World? Your boy Ego. Now, ABC News Homeland Security raids the home associated with Diddy and his film company. This is breaking news. Breaking the internet. Ryan Garcia, stay tuned to the end of this video. He did remark on this. As you know, Ryan Garcia has an upcoming fight, April 20th, and he's put out a lot of different statements. But we'll start with this. Homeland Security agents on Monday raided a Homeby Hills mansion associated with rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs and his production company. The exact reason for the raid was unclear, but Diddy has recently been associated with legal troubles including lawsuits over assaults and trafficking. Mm -mm -mm. Agents were seen detaining two men who were later identified as Diddy's sons, right? Sources told ABC News the two were not under arrest, but being detained outside while they searched the property. Federal agents, federal agents mad because I'm flagrant. In the words of Biggie, federal agents were also at the home in Miami associated with Diddy. And it says, and I quote, earlier today, the Homeland Security HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI LA, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. So that's the press release. And, you know, things are not looking good. You see, the agents storming the home of Diddy. As you guys know, he has a bunch of legal woes. Everybody, look at this is Google, right? Front page of Google. All you have to do is type in the word Diddy, P. Diddy. That's all I type in, and you'll be able to see it. So this is breaking news. Yahoo, Diddy's homes raided in connection. Diddy's home raided on Star Island. New York Post, another one. LA Miami so he's they're rating two two homes you know what I mean or two residences mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. now you haven't really seen too much from P Diddy these days like with all these allegations going on but this definitely spells trouble definitely spells trouble for P Diddy now let's take a look at what Ryan Garcia had to say about this latest news with that boy Diddy so let's take a look at what Ryan Garcia had to say. Daily Loud posted this. It says breaking Diddy's home was raided by Homeland Security in connection with trafficking, right? Ryan responded. Let me enlarge it. What is done in the dark will always come to light. I never lied and never will. It says God will provide me comfort and my battles are his. And he will win them for me. Diddy, Diddy done Diddy going to jail as he should. Wow. Diddy done Diddy going to jail, says Ryan Garcia. He also said they raided to hide more. I don't even really know what that means. They raided to hide more. So what we need to do is to pray for the law enforcement to grow some balls and leak out what's really out there. Diddy the puppet. Diddy the decoy to distract you to what is actually going on, don't lose sight. So conspiracy theory, Ryan returns. He also posted this, the TMZ says, Diddy Los Angeles and Miami homes raided by federal feds, basically. He says, remember, y'all said I was crazy. The truth is coming out. There is nowhere to hide. And it says they raided his house to hide the evidence, not find it. This is what they did to Epstein and the Fed. That's the dude that be kicking it with Ryan, too. See, that's what I'm saying. So I, Ryan keeps saying, like, how how everyone in your clique got the same thought process? Man, come on. So my thing is this. Ryan Garcia, he keeps saying, I'm going to show you proof and things like that. And then, like, he's almost like trying to take credit for this Diddy situation. But this stuff has been going on in Hollywood before Ryan was even born. Like you had issues where celebs would get arrested or whatever the case is. Like 
Like, for example, before Ryan ever went to social media and said he knew things in the elites, R. Kelly was going through a trial. Ron Jeremy was going through a trial. So these were happening before Ryan Garcia. So it's just weird that Ryan Garcia is almost trying to take credit for what's happening with Diddy as if like, hey, I told you so. But there have been rumors about Diddy and like what was going on behind the scenes well before Ryan even because keep in mind, Ryan Garcia only really started with the conspiracy theory stuff for the Devin Haney fight before that. Ryan Garcia wasn't really saying too much about what he knows and exposing the elites and this, that, and the third. He really wasn't. So now Ryan is acting like he's the one that told you. Now, as far as Diddy, I'm going to give my thoughts on that. Um, I mean, whatever was done in the dark comes to light. So whatever they find, they find that's kind of on him. But I will say this. What I do know for a fact about Fed cases is fed case if you get federal time you got to do your time like they give you 25 years you don't get out in two years you got to do like pretty much the bulk of your time if not the whole sentence so that's why you see in situations like takashi he copping pleas and stuff like that and snitching on his crew to not have to do that time but his man's treyway shoddy and stuff is still doing his time you dig so that could be bad for diddy because if you're convicted, really don't matter how much money you have, the Fed cases tend to stick and you have to do your time. The other issue is this, is we've seen, like I said, these downward spirals with celebs where more and more people will start coming forward. More and more people will start expressing like their side of the story and what happened, like true or false. That's how it usually breaks down in this world. Like some, because you have to understand there were people who have similar stories, but because a person is so powerful, they don't want to come forward, but then their strength in numbers. So the more people that come forward, then other people become empowered to say what happened to them. If you guys recall, there was um, a guy, he was a popular kids host named Jimmy Seville in the UK, and he had a popular Jimmy Fix It show or whatever. And basically he was doing heinous things. I'm not gonna elaborate too much, but you guys could look it up, Jimmy Seville. And he was doing these heinous things and nobody, nobody drew first blood. But then years later, somebody came out somebody was brave enough to come out and let the world know and make the accusation and then you start hearing about like 12 14 15 70 cases a whole bunch of cases of people who had bad experiences and were traumatized by jimmy seville right so that's another thing is once the can of worms is open then it usually gets worse and worse and more people like r kelly you start seeing more and more people come out hey in 1992 this happened hey in 96 hey at summer jam this happened kills did this. you know what i mean so we'll see how it all plays out for diddy but the fact that they're raiding two of your homes is not a good look the fact that there's multiple people in multiple cases and the other thing i do know about the feds is you don't want those type of problems you don't want the feds knocking at your door namely two doors two different places two different coasts that's just that in and of itself just think about what i'm saying listen to what i'm saying that in and of itself is a lot of energy a lot of manpower to have two raids simultaneously that is orchestrated that is that requires planning so this means they've been watching you and that's how the feds work they don't if they don't feel like they have a case against you like bmf or something like that then they won't even you won't even know it they'll just be collecting data behind the scenes more data okay da, da, da. recordings testimony jared from subway bmf i know all these cases you know and i'm pretty well versed with a lot of these popular celebrity cases and watch documentaries and whatnot and that's how it typically works what happens is they build their case behind the scenes build it you look at the italian mafia and the popular mobsters 
they're building the case and getting the the warrants to put the bugs in your phone recording your calls listening to any of your calls etc before they go public with it because you have to understand your cover is blown once it's public once the news and tmz and abc news and channel three news all these people start showing the footage of you storming diddy's mansions in miami and in la homeland security pulling up and detaining people and people in the front yard in zip ties and stuff like that cover is blown so you have to have already made enough headway to that point you know before you want it public because it's like just think of a undercover cop if an undercover cop was trying to infiltrate some kind of um, drug organization or whatever and then three weeks in he's still developing the trust he blows his cover and lets people know he's a narc he's a cop then you didn't even get to get to the bad guy because you blew your cover too prematurely you see what i'm saying so the feds are usually pretty pretty careful about that of building the case behind the scenes like remember the takashi situation they had like recordings of takashi like getting kidnapped because they were already watching him the the shooting at barclays at a fight that i was at the boxing fight that i covered adrian broner jesse vargas takashi and a rival crew there was like a shooting and we were all in the barclay like oh what you know people didn't know what happened if someone got shot someone shot in the air whatever so i've been here for these moments and it usually gets ugly before it gets any better as far as ryan garcia i mean he's like almost trying to take credit for it like oh see i try to tell you but he didn't really say nothing you didn't say nothing about diddy you waited until the news cycle hit about diddy and people start coming forward and then you kept saying to people online oh you're diddy's son and you were wearing the devin haney diddy shirt and all that type of stuff but you weren't like he acted like he dropped the bomb on diddy himself with his responses like see i told you i didn't lie but you didn't really say nothing about diddy until it was already a public issue and that people were coming forward and were suing diddy so I'm, I'm still not fully sold on ryan garcia his conspiracy theories it seems like he just latches on and leeches on to what's already out there like alex jones already talked about the bohemian i'm gonna say bohemian rhapsody i gotta talk in code we on youtube you know what i mean so alex jones had already talked about that and then now years later you're talking about it but these these things and these these thoughts and conspiracies and underworlds and secret societies and elites all these things were documented talked about other people have talked about them ryan garcia hasn't really provided anything anew especially with diddy so i don't know why he's trying to act like hey see i told you i didn't lie you'd said nothing about diddy at all until diddy already had charges and women and people and producers coming forward saying that diddy destroyed them and diddy like you know offended their civil rights and things like that so i can't give ryan no type of credit for this let me know what you guys think of the whole diddy situation it does not sound pretty again homeland security raided not one but two of diddy's known properties on two different coasts again this is a consorted and a concentrated effort at that point because this is this is like bi-coastal and that's what happens when you commit crimes across state lines it's not just a state case like if all your crimes are in la then maybe it's just a state case but when you cross state lines and perpetrate crimes and it, it spreads like you're doing dirt in la you're doing dirt in chicago you're in florida doing dirt you know that's where it grows and that's where you start getting other people homeland fbi you know atf cia whoever involved in it and we'll see how it plays out i'm not gonna pass too much judgment because i don't know the details but as the details come out you know stick around and if anything relevant comes out i will definitely do my best to inform the public of the latest update but this is a big case it's on every news channel as we speak 
that's no cap you know but as far as ryan garcia he ain't really bring nothing new to the table regarding this you guys must be out of your mind bro Man. i just finished 12 rounds of sparring saturday and putting this damn work about to run about to run eight miles get my stuff ready this is a big project i'm out here giving a big opportunity to people I'm gonna fuck up, oh, man. I know, I'm gonna get down. Don't worry. Before trying. I just wanna go down. We'll see, who, we'll see who's laughing then. We for sure we're gonna see who's not laughing. Just fuck you, sloppy, whatever fucking your name is. Come on now. Yeah, 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 whatever. Come on, Pete, bring all those bad comments. I want them all. That's why y'all better flee. You better go. You better hop off my live. That's what I thought. I, all the people, all the haters hop off my live. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You cannot handle this. Can you get my back? I mean, not on the Great opportunity, great, great thing for people in the Dallas area, making good money. Who's really laughing? Y'all hating on a God-fearing man making money? Come on, bro. How are you going to hate on a God-fearing man making money that's trying to do right in the world? $45 million at 25. Keep hating. Haney going to get destroyed. Haney going to get destroyed. Destroyed. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Who's really mad? I know y'all really mad. I'll be mad too. God fearing man making $45 million? Yeah, I'll be mad too. I'll be pissed. I'd be pissed. Woo. Man, if anything, y'all y'all be trying to help me because I'm going to help you. I'm the only one giving back the way I give back. I don't even got to toot my own horn. I know what I do. Y'all just be hating for no reason. Everybody will fear the power of Christ. I promise you that. You will feel the power of Christ. That cannot be stopped. Let the Lord's will be done, not mine. I'm, oh, you think I'm loud now? Oh, you think I'm loud now? Let the Lord's will be done, not mine. You think I'm loud now? You got something really, you got something special for you after 420. Woo! Woo wee! Okay, so so y'all complain all that stuff on that post, but it's a great opportunity for people to make money and, and do all the things they gotta do. It's a casting call. Put them on. Oh, for the kids. yeah, yeah, for the. I'm. Oh, you think I'm loud now? Ooh, you think I'm loud now? But the Lord's will be done, not mine. You think I'm loud now? You got something really, you got something special for you after 420. Woo! Woo wee! Okay, so, so y'all complain all that stuff on that post, but it's a great opportunity for people to make money and, and do all the things they gotta do. It's a casting call. Put them on. Oh, for the yeah, yeah, for the fourth workout of the day is complete. Come on, guys. We're about three weeks and some change. Hey, guys. Uh, just wanted to come out and uh, tell you guys that I'm banned till uh, the 28th uh, on TikTok going live. So I won't be going live uh, at least for six days. So, sorry. <sighs> it's not even my fault, but whatever. But... I'll be going live on Instagram, so go follow me on Instagram right now at King Ryan. Um, I'll be going live with uh, the Nickelodeon star that I'm not going to name yet. And uh, yeah, we'll be going live to talk about everything that he went through. And uh, his story is untold, so we're going to tell it. See you guys there. And that's what I mean. He's a coward. Abdul Wahid is a coward. Let's go, baby. What's up, bro? Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you.
I don't know, no other box than that, cause just walk around. And literally almost everybody knows who I am. I'm only here to exalt God and to show you guys, for God, everything is possible. Not once have I denounced God's name. Not once have I denied Christ. I love Christ. They can have me strapped on the chair, asking me to deny Christ, and I will not. We dropping the whole thing. Yes, I'm going to share it. I'm sharing it. Fight hype. We're going to promote it. So everybody sees this. Because they will forget about this. Even if I post this, they will forget about this. Jogging nonstop and talking. With fans. No weapon against me shall prosper. The Lord will make my enemies my footstool at the end of the day. So... Continue. Do all the hate you want. Spew all the hate. It's okay. One day I will have an army to defend me. One day I will. In Jesus' name, one day I will. God did. I profess that and I claim that I will have an army one day protecting me. I will. I will. There's a lot stronger women sticking up for Christ than men nowadays. Imagine that. And I kudos to all the women in the world. You guys stand up for what's right most of the time. And I really respect you guys. And those are the main ones I see coming to my defense. And all the men that are standing up for me, I respect you too. I respect you too. It's time to be strong. It's time to be bold. It's time.